Okay, so apparently I'm just no good at vlogging because, or at least holding to a schedule because this was a great week to vlog and I haven't vlogged anything. For starters, I pierced someone's nose the other day. I don't know, I didn't record anything. I have a couple of pictures. She won't let me show you those pictures because they're not the, they're, we, maybe I can show you the after pictures. I used an IV needle and I shoved it through someone's nose and that's pretty awesome. I also pierced someone's ear but I've done that before, so that wasn't that, it wasn't nearly as awesome. There was also less blood with the, the ear. Now, before you go and say you shouldn't have a whole lot of blood when you're piercing someone's nose either, we ran into some problems that were unforeseen. And I know I'm not really selling my services very well right now, but I know exactly what I'm doing now in the future. We're gonna go ahead and leave that one be, but the fact of the matter is that's really cool. And the reason that I was piercing noses and ears was because we were crossing the equator at the prime meridian, which is actually a really unique thing to do. In the maritime world, if you cross the equator, you become a shellback. Those of you that have not crossed the equator yet are all polywogs. That's right, polywogs. Slimy polywogs, and we can't trust you. However, if you've crossed the equator, you become a trusty shellback. And if you cross the equator at the prime meridian, you become a royal diamond shellback. And if that doesn't sound cool, I don't know what does. Not only do you become a royal diamond shellback, but in the US Navy you become an emerald shellback. And essentially that just means you've done something cool and it is the rarest form of shellback. There are not a lot of people in the world that have done that. Well, there are probably, a compare, per capita, not a lot of people have done that. So we're at sea for two more days, not even two more days. We're at sea for like a day. We only have one day left. We've been out here for almost two weeks and we're gonna be landing at Point Noir in the Congo in, yeah, 24 hours or something like that. I don't mean to go because yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting off the ship. I just can't imagine it being over already. We didn't. We got a couple of nice starry nights and we had some nice sunsets on the bow and it's been overall fairly lovely. But we are in the southeastern hemisphere right now which is really cool and supposedly if I were to flush my toilet now it would rotate the other way. But it doesn't because it's on a vacuum system so it just goes whoop and it's gone. So when we arrive in Congo tomorrow, we're gonna have what's called an arrival ceremony, which is really creatively named, and essentially all that means is that people are waiting for us on the dock, and they're going to have a band playing for us, and there will be speeches, and apparently 30 to 50 journalists, and that's my job, is to handle the 30 to 50 journalists. It's a lot of journalists. So if you're a journalist in Point Noir, and you happen upon this in time, we'll be meeting soon, and we're gonna have to arrange a visit for you to the ship because that'll be amazing. Not only are we having 30 to 50 journalists showing up, but we're gonna have not one, but three presidents coming. That's not a guarantee because they're presidents and they have security and nobody ever knows if they're actually coming or not. But supposedly, within 72 hours, the presidents of Gabon, Angola, and Congo, I believe, are all supposed to show up at about the same time. We've had presidential visits before. In fact, in almost every country we go to, the president of that country shows up. Except in Spain. I don't think the Spanish... Do they have a president? I'm gonna have to look that up and I'll put the answer, you know, right here. But in almost every country we go to, at least the ones that we serve in, the president shows up. I think this may be the first time three presidents from three different countries, two of which we're not serving at the moment, show up. Let's just go ahead and say that it's the president of Chile that's coming because who knows? I mean, for security purposes, it may as, might as well be. And while it's not gonna be my responsibility to handle it, I think it is gonna be the first time that we've ever had three presidents on board at the same time. Don't quote me on that because I'm not well versed in the entire history of mercy ships, but three presidents at once, that's pretty good. In fact, I don't think I'm, a, I don't think I'm of a high enough standing socially to be in the presence of three presidents at once, so I'm half expecting to burst into flames just from the sheer political awesomeness of it. And I don't know if you can tell, but the ship is really listing a lot right now. Listing, by the way, is the nautical term for this, when the ship tilts to the side. And we're doing it a lot right now. Not like a lot, a lot, like where things need to get dangerous, but enough to make it look like you're drunk when you're walking around. And that raises my final point, which is what I was getting to the whole time and didn't even know it, but walking around on a ship when it's moving like this is a great way, a surefire way, to look like you have no idea what you're doing or you're intoxicated. This will be the last vlog that I do from sea. I haven't done a whole lot of them, but I hope you've enjoyed them because they're over. But soon I'll be vlogging from the Congo and hopefully I take footage of the cool things that happen unlike all these ceremonies and other things that I missed. Hopefully I get some footage or maybe a photo at least of myself with a president or two or three at the same time. I don't think that's gonna happen. They're probably not gonna let me in the same room as these guys, but I will try nonetheless. If you like this, please do like it. Uh, I mean, click the button, like the like button under the video. Subscribe to my videos to see more in the future. I'll be in Point Noir for the next 10 months. I'll be vlogging about the Congo, about Africa, about mercy ships, about myself, about ridiculous things, about nothing. And I will see you again, hopefully on Monday, but probably again on Thursday or Wednesday or Friday or whenever the heck I managed to make one of these happen. Yeah.